Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my natural cleaning products. If you're tired of the harsh cleaning products that you're buying in the stores and want to transition into something more eco-friendly and sustainable, then you're in the right place. I love making my own cleaning products because I know exactly what is in them and they're more economical than actually buying them in stores. And before we jump into making the products, I do wanna credit this spring cleaning 2024 guide that I purchased in Barnes and Nobles. Inside there's a ton of amazing like cleaning information for your home and there's some recipes for natural cleaning products and some of these I will be talking about today. I also want to credit the Makers Clean YouTube channel. It is the YouTube channel if you want to learn how to professionally clean your own home and they also talk about this natural stone cleaner recipe that I'm going to be sharing today. We're going to be making a multi-purpose natural cleaner, a natural stone cleaner so you can clean like counters that are natural stone like granite and marble. And we're also going to be making three different cleaners that I use for the bathroom. One to disinfect, one for soap scum, and one to kill off mold. So I have my natural products all lined up. And the first one we're gonna be talking about is the all-purpose cleaner. So this one is halfway done. So I'm just looking at the recipe. So it's two cups of distilled water and one teaspoon of castile soap. Because it doesn't have any vinegar in it, you can technically use it for your natural stone counters if you like. Um, I like to use this around the kitchen for things that are not the counter, like the cabinets or like the appliances, things like that. To start off, you'll be needing some type of spray bottle. I'm using these glass ones that I bought from TJ Maxx. For the multi-purpose cleaner, we're using two cups of distilled water and one teaspoon of castile soap. I'm using the peppermint castile soap from Trader Joe's. Now all you have to do is shake it up and there you have your multi-purpose cleaner. Just to label my bottles, I'm using this vintage label maker. The next cleaner that I will be talking about is the soap scum cleaner. And this one, this one is actually my favorite. It's the second or third time that I make it. It's just warmed vinegar and dish soap that's all it is and you warm up the vinegar for like 30 seconds you do one cup of vinegar and one cup of dish soap so you warm up the vinegar 30 seconds and then take it out and combine it with the one cup of dish soap i like to use dawn for this and you mix it together so the reason why you want to warm up the vinegar is so that it doesn't separate and it just stays like like this kind of like a light blue consistency i love this one for the shower i use it all over the shower and it honestly works really well for the shower soap scum spray you will need one cup of vinegar heated for 30 seconds in the microwave and one cup of dish soap i would recommend mixing the heated vinegar and the dish soap in a different container and not straight in the spray bottle because you don't want to spill it, which is what happened to me because I think I previously had a little bit of the formula from the last soap scum cleaner. And yeah, it just started overflowing. So I would recommend mixing it in a different container and then pouring it into the bottle. Another bathroom cleaner that I have is this one right here. It's the disinfectant. I just labeled it bath. <laughs> so this one has two cups of distilled water, two tablespoons of vinegar, and 20 drops of tea tree oil. So the tea tree oil is helpful for like bacteria, to kill bacteria and things like that. And the vinegar is also a natural cleaner, a natural disinfectant. So this one works well if you pair it with a microfiber cloth or a sponge to kind of really get in there. I use it sometimes for my shower but i like this one more for maybe like on top of the toilet and things like that not inside the toilet bowl because for the inside of the toilet bowl i only use the lysol toilet bowl cleaner that's the only thing i really trust for that i like this one to disinfect like certain areas of the bathroom next up for the bathroom cleaner you will be needing two cups of distilled water two 
two tablespoons of vinegar and 20 drops of tea tree oil. Also recommends making these natural cleaners on a surface that won't get damaged like wood or maybe just lay out some newspapers, which I didn't do, but I do recommend that just in case because you don't want to mess up your wood and some of these products have the potential to do that. And the last one I'm going to be talking about is this mold cleaner. So this one is equal parts of hydrogen peroxide and water. So you want to use equal parts of distilled water and hydrogen peroxide and mix it together and spray it on your shower curtain. After you shower, it can, it's supposed to kill mold on contact. I don't use it enough because I do forget, <laughs> but I thought this was a really clever idea so that the mold isn't just like building up on your cloth shower curtains if you have one moving on to the mildew cleaner slash mold cleaner this one is also super simple you just want to mix equal parts of peroxide and water and just throw it in the spray bottle i think i'm doing one cup of water and one cup of peroxide here one thing about me is that i've grown to like cleaning especially moving from my parents straight to living with my husband i'm doing a lot more cleaning than i used to and yeah i'm not ashamed to say that <laughs> but it makes you want to learn more about how to properly clean things and the more you know the easier it becomes guys and the last cleaner that i will be talking about is the stone cleaner so as you can see it's very very low i think this is the second time i've also made this one i love this one this one is one and three fourths cup of water it's best to use distilled water for these types of cleaners because if you have hard water you can have like minerals in there which i think doesn't help to clean. This one is one and three fourths cup of water, a teaspoon of dish soap, one fourth cup of rubbing alcohol, and a few drops of your favorite essential oil. It doesn't have vinegar or any like citrus cleaner, which is actually bad for your natural stone countertop. I think it can kind of like penetrate somehow and, and mess it up like the finish or the color eventually. So you want to kind of stay away from using anything with a citrus base for your natural stone counters but yeah so this one is my favorite i use it for the bathroom counter because it is marble and i also use it for my kitchen counters but whenever i don't reach for this one i just use the the all-purpose one but if i'm really trying to disinfect i will use the stone one because it has rubbing alcohol and i feel better like i feel like it's actually killing the the bacteria as opposed to the all-purpose one has castor soap so I use it for like smaller messes, I guess. And last but not least, let's make the stone slash marble countertops cleaner, or as referenced earlier, the natural stone cleaner. <laughs> so that's kind of like a funny name, but you know what I mean. For this one, you'll need one and three fourths cup of water, one fourth cup of rubbing alcohol, one teaspoon of dish soap, and a few drops of essential oils any essential oil that is your favorite will do if you guys have any natural cleaning products that you love to make and want to leave them in the comments below that would be great i would love to learn more especially now that i do dabble a lot more in cleaning my home and just caring for it so i want to do the best i can well that is it for this video thank you so so much for watching please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me i love you so much thank you again and until next time bye